Yes. Well, we get. Hey, I, I, I think this is a good setup, coach. Oh yeah. They got, got people waving in the background. Get Sports Focus is brought to you by Summit Partners, leaders in growth equity investing. Weightsandbars.com. Build your home gym and shop locally from the Bay Area's best fitness equipment experts. Ike's Love and Sandwiches. Championship level sandwiches every single time. South Bay Construction, a reputation built on trust. And by Fuel Good, fueling your success conveniently located in Santa Clara off Homestead Road. For more info, go to fuelgoodmealprep.com. What's up, everybody? Get Sports Focus here on location at Ike's off of... Skyport. Skyport Boulevard. Oh, wait, we, we got microphones. We got microphones, so we don't have to lean in, make sure. And we don't have to yell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are we going to talk about, Coach? Well, I mean... I can actually see you. I, I know. can look into your eyes. <laughs> I think this is the first time like we've actually done We're like We're actually a... doing this, man. Hey, hey, Ike's, there we go. I know we Anyways. Got, got people walking through. Yeah, it's 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 after lunch, so there's not a lot of people here. Mm-hmm. But usually there's lines out the door at this location. This is my favorite location. LJ's the manager. I think he's still the manager, but I haven't been here because I moved. Anyways, coach, so how you doing? Um, you know, it's, uh, it, it's, it's still bittersweet being a Bay Area guy right now, yeah. but you know what? It's okay. I think it was honestly probably one of the more exciting Super Bowls we've seen. Yep. Um, I heard a funny stat that, uh, millennials have been really happy about the... Don't, don't shake our table. Oh, about the... You're shake the camera. Sorry. I guess millennials have been really happy about the last three, uh, Super Bowls because it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's our era. Usher killed it. Brought out, exactly. brought out Alicia Keys, Lil John, and uh, what else was that? Luda. Luda. And Jermaine Dupri. Jermaine Dupri, yes. That was. Um, and her. And her. That was, that was nice. That was huge for the uh, Filipino community. It, it, yes, absolutely, it was. Uh, I gotta be honest, I didn't really enjoy the first minute and a half of the Super Bowl halftime show just because I thought, okay, what's gonna be the rest of the stuff? Is it gonna be the same thing? But then when Alicia Keys came out, that's when I was like, okay, here we go. And then she came out with the hot looking dress. You know, she looked great. She looks fantastic. And then it got better and better and better. I wish they gave them a little bit more time, like another five minutes. But all in all, I thought it was an excellent performance. You know, I'm an Usher fan. My, oh, my, yeah. my family is actually, we're all into entertainment. Like, you know, my, my niece is a dancer, my, um, my my nephew, you know, he's a he's a dance teacher. My daughter's into dance. Um, yeah, I have I have friends who are into. You're into dance too. I used to dance. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. I mean, we're we're Filipino. It's in our blood. So yeah. At the end of the day, entertainment's in our blood. Exactly, and that's what we're doing here. We're doing sports entertainment. Funny thing, we're just freestyling right now. <laughs> We are. While we're waiting for our food. We're freestyling while we're waiting for our food. There's a, um, uh, there's a large order. That's why it's taking forever. There's a large order. Everybody wants Ike's. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Look at this. Ike's. <laughs> Excellent service right here. Thank you. Excellent service. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, that was not planned. That was uh, What did you get? I got the Michael Jordan. Mike, he got the goat sandwich. No, that's Matt Kane. Oh, it is? Oh. I thought, I, I saw the M and I was like, Michael Jordan. Michael. There you go. There you go. So, so just in case you guys want to know what we're having, I am, I ordered the uh, ever so popular Matt Cain sandwich. I really hope we're getting audio with this. <laughs> I think we are. I, mean, I think we are. I saw, yeah. I saw the bars move in. Um, yeah. um, I actually try to do a different sandwich every time I come here. Okay. Well, nice. I always try to, I always try to do something completely different. I like that guy. We should always get like people like that inside of we our. Should, we should do random, random interviews with people on the streets. We probably should, we but call it MOSs. <laughs> Go grab some MOSs. That's what you, they used to tell me when I was an intern. So I think we should just talk about it. Okay, let's just talk about it. What are we, what are we gonna talk let's about? Just talk about it. Like I, I think yesterday it was, pro, it was, oh, yes. it was a great game. Yeah. Uh, number one, great game. 
Um, you know, and I'm just gonna say this because I know everyone that's in football is probably gonna say the same thing that actually understands football is that mm -hmm. it was just a very well played game. Very well played game. I love the defensive aspect of it, but to be honest though, man, that kick, oh, that blocked a field goal. So I don't think that was the game changer. Not a field goal. It was a, it was an extra point. It was an extra point. So that was that there was like there was three turning points in the game and all of them were on the Niners side. So the blocked PAT. Yes. The muffed punt. Yes. And the one that I don't think people really realize how much this one affected it was Dre Greenlaw tearing his ace, his Achilles, yeah, running was, back onto the field. It was as, it was almost as if as if the Swifties had their fingers on that game, like right. Were... And you know what? I want to I want to take this moment to actually like we need to get an unpopular like opinion and poll because I want to see like how people react to this. I know they kind of made up for it at the end, but that interaction with Coach Reed and Travis Kelsey. Oh. Um, I think that was really out of character. And as a coach, if that were ever to happen to me, like, you're, <laughs> you're, you're sitting down. You're not going back in the game. Wow. Like, I, I, I wouldn't I, do that. I saw it, but I didn't think of it as anything more than just a player. Not necessarily, I don't think he was talking back to the coach or anything. I think he was just talking to him, letting him know, like, he wanted he, to be He was in. venting his frustration that, you know, he, he wanted the ball. Still, I mean, in the heat of the moment, like, you never run up on your coach like that. True. Like, that's just a disrespectful thing. I, I, I saw a lot of people did make comments on it. Um, you know, just be respectful. Yeah. But, you know, I get it. You know, it's the biggest game, one of the biggest games of your career. It's the biggest game in the NFL. So, you know, yeah. no. I think I think it's OK. Um, I lost all my, start eating. go ahead. I lost all my outside bets, though. <laughs> I was so like what? So there was a there was one about like how many appearances we were going to see of Taylor Swift. Thirty eight. Yeah, I, no, I just no, it was um, it's got to be in the 30s. I think they said, let's see if we can plug this right now. Let's see. I lost. You do that while I'm eating. Go for it. And then I'll take my turn. <laughs> mm, so, so good. where is it? Okay. So, one of them was how many times Taylor Swift appearances? It was supposed to be, uh, the line was nine and a half. Mm. And I said uh, under nine and a half, but there was 10. Oh, so, really? So I was a little pissed. Uh, the uh, halftime show time, they said it was going to be, uh, it was, the line was 87.5 seconds. Mm -hmm. I said under. I thought Reba McIntyre was singing it pretty fast. No, but it she was, went over. But it was 95 seconds because she, yeah. she just had to hold that note at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I was like counting it too. I had my stopwatch. I was like, man, you just had to do that. Fresh chips, so crunchy. And then uh, the other one was a 10.5 song line for the halftime show. Mm -hmm. And a lot of, uh, I saw a lot of comments about that. They were like, the, uh, the song changes were happening so quickly. It was like uh, the, that friend that you have that changes the radio station <laughs> in your car. <laughs> so. That's a good one. So, I mean, lost a, lost a little bit of it. So it's okay. Um, but those are funny. <clears throat> excuse us for talking with our mouths full. We usually have good manners, but we're at Ike's. We're, we're at lunch. We're, we're, we're doing this during our lunch break. Yes. Hey, this could be a new segment. Lunchtime at Ike's. We can just grab random people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, now, um, did anybody win the, the, the Gatorade thing? I don't think so. Purple? That was, I've never seen purple. Mm-mm. Was that to see like what color it was gonna mm -hmm. be? Mm. No, I don't think so. How was uh, how's your sandwich? It was pretty good. Mine is excellent. You know, I've videoed myself and Manalo eating mm -hmm. a night sandwich. This is and a my record is 150 seconds. <laughs> this is actually the first time I've had this one. Mm. So. 
I'm a, I wouldn't consider myself a foodie, but I'm, I'm willing to try different things. So this is one of them. Plus so I have what, to, What's your review? I'm gonna put you on the spot. You can be honest. I like it. You know, um, I'm a very, uh, I like sourdough. Mm. Uh, but, you know, I think the meatballs can have a little bit more flavor. Have you ever um, had Dutch punch? Mm-hmm. I just don't like it. I actually thought Ike came up with the Dutch crunch. I think it was. Then I found out he didn't. But these are so, these breads are really good. Mm-hmm. This is one of the highlights of this place, the bread. Mm. So NFL is officially over. NFL is officially over. Yes. Now we're going into. Spring football. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Two more bites. <laughs> um, I don't normally talk when I'm eating hikes, so this is a little different. New segment. New segment. <laughs> You want to be a guest on Guest Sports Focus, lunchtime at Ike's, DM us at Guest Sports Focus. We're looking for coaches, mentors, maybe community leaders. Mm -hmm. Anybody who wants to have lunch with me or Coach Andrew. At Skyport. Hey, this is a point. But just to wrap up with the game, did mm -hmm. the Niners lose the game? Or did the Chiefs won the game? Ooh, that's a good question. I think there, there's going to be too many different ways that everyone's going to look at it, right? I already know there's a lot of people saying like, oh, the Niners lost it, Kyle made bad decisions, all the excuses that, mm -hmm. you know, most people are going to give it. And then you have the people that are like, no, Pat Mahomes like did what Pat Mahomes does, and he brought the game back. Andy Reid put the game in his hands, and he made him go do it. So it's, it kind of just, I feel like that, it just depends on like which side of the, which, which team you're kind of going for. Yeah. Or just the people that like, for some reason, I, I did find out too that there's just a lot of people that don't like the Niners. And it's, uh, and they're from here. Yeah. It's that, weird. There's a lot of Cowboy fans in the Bay Area for some reason. But I get it, you know. You always got to, I mean, and, and I'll say it this way, and quote me if I'm wrong, everyone always likes to hate the best at what they do. That's true. Because at the end of the day, everyone in the entire country hated both these teams in the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's true. But it's because they're both the best. I'm going to eat my second half, and Go I'm going to have Coach Andrew keep talking. Because <laughs> he's good at talking. I am. I'm very so good. So tell us about the Panthers. Um, Oh, the tryouts. The tryouts. So on Saturday, you guys saw a little bit of the footage. That, those are all the footage I got. I went to see uh, the, the Panthers tryouts. Coach Andrew and Coach Romo mm -hmm. um, executed the, the timing, the laser yes. timing for the combine. There are some dudes out there, man. Those yeah. guys are flying. I wish I would have. I, I didn't have time to, to get the one-on-ones the -one and the rest of the tests, but that's okay. Some of those guys look really, really good. Mm -hmm. And I was really blown away by, by the talent this time around versus last year. Yeah, for sure. So big shout out to Coach Romo with uh, Overtime Perform. Thank you for coming out and helping me um, run that. It went really smooth. Um, and you know, it's, it's always great working with Coach Romo. He's a great guy to work with. Um, but you, you hit it right on the nose there. Like, Definitely a better turnout. Less people than mm -hmm. last year, I believe. But the quality went up a lot, which is which is fantastic. Um, a lot more guys came into shape. Um, there was a couple guys that did get called out for not being in shape. Um, but you know, it's uh, it was a it was a really really good turnout. I think we'll probably bring I don't know but there's a lot more possibility that we'll probably take more from this pool of players into camp 
and throughout the season probably than what we did last year for sure because there's actually some talent and they're all local majority of them are local so it was it was a really good um it was a really good turnout uh got to see a lot of uh local bay area mm -hmm. guys um i think it was uh i think his name is oliver sversky yes so i saw him um there was a uh, I think his name is Blajon Lux. I don't know where he's from, but he's from the area. But he's from the area. He was the guy at the end of the video. Um, there was two guys that went to mm. community college out here. Yeah. At the very end of the video? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Did he get the, the fastest He had time? the fastest 40. Wow, yeah. See, I got that. Yeah. I, was, I was just looking at it, I was like, that, that looked really fast. Yeah, and then there was a, I know there's a local kid. I don't know his last name, but I know his name is Nate. And then there's another guy, Joey, that they're both local guys. They're from local high schools out here. Okay. So it was good to see them. And Omari. And Omari, car. So a lot of local guys. Um, did you know that there was a, oh, I didn't tell you about that. There was a guy that tried out, flew all the way from Japan to be here. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I know which one it is. Yeah. I kind of only saw one Asian guy. <laughs> That's got to be him. It was him. Yeah. Is he a lineman? He's a lineman. He looks like a sumo guy. Yeah. He's really fast. He's big. <laughs> but he's fat and he can move. Yeah, he can move. Yeah. He can move really, really well. So, uh, but apparently in Japan, he's a, uh, he's a lineman fullback. Yeah, a lot of you probably don't know this, but football is huge in Asia. Yes. It's in Japan, big. it's big. Google it. You'll see it. India, it's growing fast. So the way the NFL is, is, is going right now, that's why there's so much expansion with the XFL. Is it still the XFL or? UFL. It's UFL. There's no XFL now, right? No more XFL, no more USFL. They're, so they're merged. Yeah, it's okay. now the UFL. It used to be called the UFL. Yeah. Then they split off because, you know. No, it, it's, it's huge. So it, and let's see, we started 707 in 2000. 17, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, and um, yeah, you can go ahead. Go ahead and eat, coach. I got two more bites, but I'm gonna talk in between. <laughs> um, yeah, football is growing. Not just with the male uh, species, also with the girls. Mm -hmm. And going back to the Super Bowl, this is what I see happening in the future, coach. This whole Taylor Swift effect. I was watching today, first take, and they said that, uh, this is probably the first Super Bowl where there's a lot of dads watching with their daughters or families watching with their daughters and the daughters are into it because of the whole Taylor Swift thing. Mm -hmm. So I think for her, she's going to bring this together. And this is how football is going to be more popular with the girls is because of Miss Swift. And it makes sense. Flag football, it kind of took off this year, especially here in the Bay Area because we got Steve Young and his, and his daughters playing. Uh, we didn't cover any fo any girls flag football, unfortunately. We might do it next year, but for the most part, it it kicked off this year, and I see it sticking around. Uh, there's a lot of club teams out there that are forming. Mm -hmm. Not sure if everybody knows what they're doing. If you guys need help, hit us up. We know all about that stuff. But I think for the most part, like I, I see that as a as a bright future for football. And there's a commercial during the Super Bowl. You see that commercial? Yeah. Get from Africa. I think it's Africa, right? Mm hmm Yeah, that was awesome. Was Can it? you imagine? Like... Close the borders. Yeah. It's like, there's no borders anymore. Yeah. But you were right on your prediction. Because you didn't pick the Chiefs or the Niners. You said Taylor Swift was going to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> yes, I did. And I'm pretty sure, like, just based on that, I'm pretty sure she won. So... Yeah. Alf, you, you win the year. That was a tiebreaker, I guess. <laughs> What was it, 52-52? It was 52-52, so I guess you win. I won the Super Bowl tiebreaker. There you go. Because he picked Taylor Swift. and because... That's why Coach Andrew is treating me out to lunch right now. This is what this is, this is all about. <laughs> On ice. No, I thought it was... I, the game was, was great. Now, after the... Let me just finish this real quick. <laughs> San Jose. Yeah. Mm. 
I always eat the full sandwich. Hey, you know what I thought about it? Like, if if you're ever around here, Ice, like let me know. I'll meet up with you. We could do a one-on-one -on -one like this, or Coach Andrew can join us too. Mm -hmm. There we go. I don't think you can ever like save an Ike sandwich for like later because it doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste no, good later. No, it's always, any food, it's always good when it's fresh. Unless it's like leftover Chinese food. <laughs> Anything Asian leftover is like always good the next day. It's like, it, it gets better as, as old as, as, as it gets older. I'm pretty sure that like breaks like so many, we're gonna gross out so many people. <laughs> Sometimes like we'll eat the same dish for like five days straight. Yeah. But it's okay. You know, we're... <laughs> we should do one of those. We're, we're Filipino. <laughs> of yeah. course we eat rice. We're Filipino. Of course we smell like food. <laughs> so, yeah. So spring football's coming up. You know, Taylor Swift did all this good stuff for, you know... Yeah, I mean, we've been seeing more girls getting involved in football, which I think is fantastic. Um, and it's more international now. Um, like, I didn't realize like how big flag football was getting until I started playing in an adult league. Yeah. And when I saw some interest in it, and then from, there's a, there's a Filipino American like organization that's like trying to put like a team together to like represent internationally. Mm. I didn't realize like, oh my gosh, like this thing is yeah. all over. This is what I normally do after I finish my sandwich. I use the chip bag as the wrapper for the wrapper. <laughs> it's easier to toss. We'll just leave it right there for now. All right, let's go. 10 minutes of just talking. Cool. Um, so after the, Saturday was really busy for me. Mm -hmm. After the Panthers tryouts, we had our lineman camp that went really, really well. Small group. We like doing small sessions because I feel like the kids get more out of it and the coaches are able to interact with the kids more. So Coach Duffy was our, our O-line coach, ran some, some really cool drills, drills, drills. And I, I just judging from how the kids were, uh, they got better because they were so tired afterwards. I mean, they were, they got worked, <laughs> which yeah. is great. And then after that, I had to go to uh, uh, CCS Regionals Wrestling at my alma mater, Gunn High School. Our, our intern was there, Sophia. She, she shot the, the, the wrestling matches with me and it went really well. We're gonna upload a lot more wrestling footage. Shout out to Coach Varela of Gilroy. Shout out to Coach Varela, former Gilroy wrestling coach, now running the show at Los Gatos. I don't know if you know Coach Varela, but he was a Gilroy and they put up I believe it was like 10 years of, of CCS championships, and then he left, went to Los Gatos. DC took over Gilroy, continued the whole winning thing, and now he's taking over, he's, he's taking it to the next level. But Coach Varela, man, he, I think it's gonna be Gilroy and Los Gatos for the CCS. It's gonna be a showdown. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> when did Coach, see, I, I wrestled a while ago, so I don't know if Coach I think it's 2016. Yeah, I was already out. <laughs> yeah, you were already out. No, but it was impressive because uh, every every match, every they won the whole thing. Los Gatos did, but I think they had like nine champions, some ridiculous something, something like that. That was for Scaval. No, that was for they call it regionals now. Oh, CCS regionals. CCS regionals North. CCS Regional South, was, it was at um, Watsonville. And Gilroy and won that. And Gilroy won that one. They destroyed that one. And Los Gatos won the and North. And Los Gatos destroyed I, the North. I, you know, we never really got to talk about it last year, but like, I actually like the new format. Like the region, I did too. The regional makes more sense, especially for sports like, like wrestling. Yeah. Um, I think they, they do something similar in track. Yes. So, you know, they do like, you do your league, and then you go to Masters, and then you go to CCS. So it's yes. like, it's, it makes the competition a lot better, yes. for lack of a better word. It's no, there's some, there's some it's like the top, there. It's the top guys. Yeah, so now we're gonna get into CCS this coming weekend. It's gonna be at Watsonville. 
and it's it, that's gonna be great because now you really have the best of the best competing for a spot for to, state to, to go to state top three goes to state that's why California wrestling high school wrestling is probably the best in the world because of how they do how they conduct these these qualifying tournaments and so super excited for that I think I'm gonna I know I'm gonna go down to the state um, but CCS is gonna be next weekend uh, on Saturday and then we have our seven on seven tournament on Sunday that's gonna be our seventh annual rapid fire high school division closed because we we got we got 10 teams and so we're working on filling up the 14u but on top of all that I'm pretty sure Coach Andrews got something going on this weekend too with the uh, XCO's um, combine camp. What are you calling that, by the way? Is Just it combine training series. Combine training series. So um, it's going live. Like all the dates will be there live uh, starting this weekend. So you can start um, registering. Like we're not starting that up till March. Just trying to get that like everything like all cleaned up. But like everything will be live this weekend nice. so you can individual you can sign up for the individual dates um, or you can pay for the whole series altogether um, that's what that's happening at the gym there's also some uh, the gym's also getting a facelift right now <laughs> yeah so I'm not gonna post anything about it like you just got to come by and see it um, and then we have two weeks and then Panthers start we start camp in two weeks so my life is accelerating fast <laughs> busy man right here busy, well, I'm glad busy. I'm glad we were able to get, grab lunch um, talked about the Super Bowl talked about sevens uh, so this was I mentioned this to the the campers the, the guys that attended the lineman camp <clears throat> um, I know you're qualified to talk about this but when I was at the Panthers tryouts mm -hmm. I noticed now these are adults right right trying out for a professional team um, but I noticed that there was, like, I noticed that, that, that a lot of the guys, there's a wide range of, of not really, they're all talented. Right. Right? They all have skills. But there's a reason why Coach Andrew want to put on this, this combine training series. And it's to teach proper technique. Yeah. I'm not a coach. But I've seen enough to kind of like, I can tell visually like if, if someone's doing something right or if someone's a little bit off or way off. Um, but what I noticed when I went there, I was like, man, why is that guy running like this? Right. Or like this. Yeah. You know, like little things like that. Uh, and then we talked about this last time. The, the reason why. But I kind of want Coach Andrew to comment on that again because when I talked to the guys at the camp, our camp, the Lyman High School camp, I told them, like, look, you guys, if you consistently come out to these things and participate in Coach Andrew's uh, XCL's training camp series or combine camp series, you are refining your skills when it comes to your technique because that could be the deal maker. I, I, when I was out there at San Jose State at the Combine, I heard a couple of times a coach saying something about one of the guys that just ran and he commented on how they started and that, yeah, let's see what the next guy, it, it's almost like they kind of passed on him already. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> just just to touch on that like it's it's true like our uh, our head coach uh, coach Keith actually said something at the beginning um, and I'm glad he it came from him because he's like you know he explained like what this whole process is about and he says the moment the tests start actually he said the moment the warm-ups start you're under evaluation yeah. they're looking at every little detail that you're doing so I was there too like there was um there was some of the coaches like actually had me say like, you know, hey, this number so-and-so is in your line. And because of like, you know, what I do with like, you know, the way I train these like two like exercises, they're like, give us the honest like opinion on it. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, 
So they were like, I want to see everything from like where his flexion is, where his flexibility is at. Can he actually like, does he stand up after 10 yards? Yes. Like it was things like that. How long does he hold his drive phase? When does he get to full acceleration? All those things. And it was like, I had to be very specific because at the pro level, and this is something for all the high school kids to understand too, like when you go to like a big camp, like a rivals camp, or you go to like a prep showcase, or you come to ours, because I think, you know, knowing knowing what we know now, we can put those standards in there yeah, and give you guys that same experience so you guys know what to expect if you guys are trying to take this far. So every little detail matters. They made, they even like, you don't really do this like with the 5105, but we forced our the guys trying out to do both sides. Yeah. To go right and then to start left. To start right and to start left. And surprisingly, like, you know, if they were even what they were looking for was even. Mm. So evenness. Um, depending on your position. I see. Um so the ones that we did see, like the typical ones that you wanted to see was the running backs were even. They were very even. Wide receivers were really even. Um, but you can tell with the linemen, you can tell who's a right side guy and who's a left side yeah. guy. But it shouldn't be like too far of a gap between. So that's why like, you know, there's a couple guys that like linemen that did that and the coaches were like, we're good. Like it was things like that. And it was like just by split seconds. And they're like, we're good. Yeah. So it's, they definitely took it a lot more serious this year. Um, just because like, you know, it was a brand new org it was a brand new coaching staff last year. The whole coaching staff is back yeah, this yeah. year. So nice. we all know what we're looking for. Um, and then they were asking me, like now I have my hard job, which is uh, I get to look <laughs> at, I get to watch all the footage of all the runs. And I actually have to look and see like, you know, who's in shape mm. from that. And should we even like consider, like it's, it's harder. Yeah. And I have, to, I have all the results, I have to compile everything, and then I get to make my notes. So, I got, a hard, well, I got, when, some, I got some work to do. When opportunity meets preparedness, that's when luck happens. Yeah. <laughs> now, I just want to throw that out there before we close it out, because um, it was fresh, and I, I really thought, like, man, like, I told the guys, I was like, look, you have so much ahead of you. Like, you never know out of this one group. Uh, who's gonna make it yeah. to the big, to the biggest stage? Um, maybe none of you, maybe one of you, but definitely have. We definitely have a very, very talented group. They just need some work, and they're 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 gonna work. I think they they committed to it. So um, details, yeah, details, details, yeah. details, details. I think we've mentioned that like a few times before, just on different occasions and different subjects, but. For off season, this is where you refine detail. Yep. This is what coaches are looking for: is the finer details of your game, the finer details of your skill set. That's what they're looking for right now. If you don't refine those details, you know you may have a more difficult, more I guess unorthodox road yeah. to the next level. So work out your details. Find somebody who can point out, you know, what details you have to work on. Yeah. Because you may never know, like that small detail you work on might actually like amplify a strength you might have. Yeah, yeah. There it is. And if you're not working out, you're behind. You're way behind. So yeah. you better get on it. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, coach, thank you for joining me. Of course. This is uh, the new segment. Hey, we're going to try to do this again. Uh, I think what are we, we calling this? This is uh, Lunchtime at Ike's. The Sounds LOI. Like Oh, LAI, damn it. I tried. <laughs> Lunchtime of Ikes, never mind. Lunchtime at Ikes. It's LAI. LAI. LAI segment. There you go. All right, coach. Good seeing you. Oh, we actually get the handshake. Hey, <laughs> we, we got the handshake. Uh, anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, whatever, just DM us. We'll see you next time. <laughs>